Hey, I'm John Cannell, and today on Preppy Kitchen, we're making my family favorite dolmadas recipe. So let's get started. First off, grab one large sweet onion. We're gonna mince it up. Dolmadas, or stuffed grape leaves, are a traditional dish that we have with almost all of our like bigger dinners. And let me just tell you, this recipe is such a favorite of mine. And you can make them in a number of ways, but this is my mom's recipe, which was from my grandfather. And I'm so excited to share it with you. And by the way, this recipe just so happens to be from the spring chapter of my book. So if you have a copy, grab it and open up to page 206 so you can cook along with me. Into a large skillet, I'm adding two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna pop this over medium high heat and let that oil get nice and warm. Once your oil's nice and hot, add ah, all that onion in there. We're gonna cook this stirring frequently. You want these to soften and to caramelize a bit, but not burn. So 10 minutes over medium high heat, depending on your cooktop. I want three nice big garlic cloves for this. I'm gonna give them a light smash just to get the skin off. I'm gonna grate these with a plain. Rasp. I'm gonna grate these with a rasp, so we're not gonna mince it up, don't worry about that. That's why I wanted to keep the garlic mostly intact. And just by the by, the meat we're gonna use today is ground lamb. Ah, uh, who could say no to ground lamb? If you can't find that, ground beef is perfectly acceptable. And if that's not for you, you could actually try like a really fat heavy uh, ground turkey, not the lean kind. All right, that's coming along. One last bit of prep while that's cooking is two tablespoons of finely minced fresh oregano. Oregano is like the Greek herb. It's the main one, as far as I'm concerned. So my mom is from Mexico, and when she came to this country, she just fell in love with all the different cuisines at her fingertips, especially the ones in our family. We have French Canadian people, we have a lot of Greek people, and she like learned the recipes from my family and kind of made them her own. So this is my light adaptation of mom's recipe that I grew up with. Okay. And we're also gonna chop up two tablespoons of fresh mint. Give that a mince. If you haven't made this before, we're gonna use grape leaves in brine. They're really fun to use. I'm gonna show you how to do it. And you can do so many different kinds of fillings. It doesn't have to be traditional. You can make your own creation up. Okay. These onions look nicely browned. They've softened up. Taking them off heat for just a moment. Now we're gonna add our one pound of ground lamb or beef, whatever you're using. Mm, okay, mix that in. And while that's browning, I'm gonna grate my three garlic cloves right in. The nice thing about using lamb or beef here is that there's so much fat in the meat, it's really gonna give you like nice, tender little bits and that's gonna soak through in the onions and give you a ton of flavor. It's time to add one half of a cup of just plain tomato sauce, not ketchup, tomato sauce. I also want half a cup of a nice deep red wine, like a Shiraz or a Cab. If you don't want to use alcohol in this, I would just use like some beef stock just to give it some more flavor. I'm also adding in the mint and oregano. Ooh, look at that. Three quarters of a teaspoon of kosher salt. I'm also reducing the heat down to like low right now. This is getting hot. I'm gonna add one and a half cups of water. And this is gonna cook with one cup of white long grain rice stir it, and we're gonna simmer this for about 12 minutes, and the rice will really cook nicely. But you're not cooking the rice all the way through because this is gonna bake again in those grape leaves. So we're par cooking the rice just to give it a head start and let it absorb all that flavor. After about 12 minutes, the rice has absorbed almost all of the liquid. It's par cooked and it's ready to set aside. Let that cool for 20 minutes. You can let it cool for a bit longer. It doesn't really matter. So if you want to do this in parts and like start this at the beginning of the day, do the rolling a bit later, that's totally fine. We'll be back with the magic of editing. Towards the end of your filling's cool time, go ahead and open up a 16 ounce jar of these grape leaves. I love that smell. That is the smell of like a childhood memory. Okay. We're gonna just unfold these and soak them in water for 10 minutes. Just give them a nice fresh watery home and get some of that brine off. Soak it up. Just enough cold water to cover them. That's all you need. 
drain your grape leaves now. All that water gone. I'm working in a 12 inch-ish skillet here. I'm gonna line the bottom with several grape leaves. This is my base. This part's nice and easy. Just plopping those over. And by the way, if you had like some ripped grape leaves and you sorted these or some that are super wrinkly, use them for the bottom. It's like a nice little blanket. See, like that's a perfect one to use for the bottom, the hole in it. Mm -mm -mm. Now it's time to roll. I'm gonna show you how this goes. Unfold it if it's wrinkled. <laughs> Grab about a tablespoon of filling, plop that in the center towards the stem. And now get the right side and roll it over. And I believe the left side and you roll that over too. And now lift the stem end and you're going to roll that up just like this. Mm -hmm. Not bad. I would eat this right now, but the rice isn't cooked yet. Mm -hmm. This goes into your pan and the first one is done. You're gonna repeat this about 70 times and it might be a good time to call some friends over. <laughs> well, I just so happen to have one taker. Okay, Lockie, these are called domadas. Can you say that? This is called domadas. Oh, okay, good, thank you. So these are grape leaves and it's like wrapping paper. We're gonna get some of the filling. You wanna smell it? And then we put one tablespoon of filling in and then you take the end of the leaf like this you wrap it, Oh. and then the other end of the leaf, and you wrap it there. Okay, and now look. See how it's like a present? Yeah, You're gonna so roll it up. It's so special. Yeah, and then you put it in here. You wanna try wrapping it? Yeah. Okay, let's put one spoonful in, right there. That is, that's this And now you roll it, so roll from here. Okay. That's good, thank you. All right, one more. Uh -huh. That is part? Yeah. Thank you so much, you did such a good job. Say bye everybody. Bye everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs> that was like the cutest thing ever. Lachlan did such a good job rolling. Such a proud, unbiased papa. <laughs> I'm basically making a big circle of grape leaves. I'll fill the middle up and then we're gonna have another layer on top. That'll probably be all the grape leaves. This makes about 70. Once your last grape leaf is placed in there, it made exactly two layers in my pan. We want one lemon, juice right in there. When I had all that rolling time, <laughs> I was thinking if you wanted to make a vegetarian version of this, you could probably do uh, something similar that's in my mushroom bolognese recipe in the book, where it's a bunch of minced up mushrooms and that can take the place of the lamb. And I bet it would be really delicious. If you wanna try that out, let me know. That's all the lemon. I'm gonna place two magnificent, very aromatic bay leaves right on top. Two cups of water. So these have all that delicious rice that was parboiled in that pan with all the flavor. And now we're gonna add the lemon juice and the rice. And these will like just continue cooking, absorb all that water and be perfectly like just have a nice chew to them. I have plenty of grape leaves left over. I'm gonna add four or five of them on top just to seal everything in. Now find a plate that just fits inside of your pan and place it upside down. Just like that, that'll help weight things down. We're gonna cover this up and place it over medium heat. Oh, it's heavy. Bring that to a boil. It should be about 10 minutes. Then we'll reduce to a simmer, so reduce to low, and just let it cook away for about an hour until about half of that liquid is gone. You can always do a test bite to see if they're ready. Once your dolmadas are almost done, you can make this amazing lemon sauce. So here's the deal. In a small pot, I'm adding one cup of low sodium broth chicken broth. Put that over medium heat. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna bring this to a simmer. Now, in a large bowl, I'm gonna add the zest and juice of two lemons. Oh my gosh, this is actually maybe my favorite part of the whole Dolmadas experience is the delicious lemon creamy sauce. 
I would sop this up as a kid. If you're wondering what does this name come from, I think dolma is Turkish for like stuffed, and dolma those are like stuffed grape leaves. It's a dish with a lot of overlap in various regions. You can let me know if like your country has a special version of it or there's some spices you use. This is, I would say, a pretty Greek version. There we go, all the zest off of that lemon. Three large eggs right into the bowl. And three. My broth has come to a simmer. I'm moving it to low right now. And it's time to juice these lemons. Marble is basically crushed seashells that have been pressed together with time. And it's very unhappy around acids like lemon juice. In case you're wondering why I'm cutting a lemon in the air. Those lemons are now dry as a bone, as they should be. Grab a whisk along with a pinch of salt, about a quarter of a teaspoon. Once it's mixed together, we're gonna add half of the broth in while you're whisking vigorously, just in a nice stream. Now we're gonna return all of this mixture into the pot while we're whisking as well. We're gonna cook this over medium low heat until the sauce is thickened. I'm gonna stir frequently. For about seven minutes, you'll see it coat the back of a spoon and um, it'll just be nice and thick. This is a very traditional sauce. We're not using any cornstarch. It just has the eggs to thicken things up. And really, what is it, like a couple ingredients? It's so simple. Run it through a sieve just to get rid of any eggy bits as well as all that zest so it's nice and creamy. If you wanna make sure your dolmadas are all done cooking, just grab one cut it open. You can see if the rice is done or not, but you can always take a bite too. Dip it in the sauce or just drench them in it and then it's time to enjoy. That brings back all the childhood memories. That perfect tang of lemon, all of the herbs, the like wonderful lamb and rice on the inside and that like little briny kind of vegetal note from the grape leaves. I hope you get a chance to make this recipe from my book and if you like this video, check out my book playlist.